what is going on youtube welcome back to bitcoin daily today we are excited to talk about the market what's been going on with the price where we think we might be going and here's a secret Twenty thousand, maybe i don't know we'll see we're, we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about what resistances we might be facing still before getting to 20k and uh what supports we have in case we do have a pullback um and yeah that's pretty much it guys we'll, we'll give you guys a couple trade setups as well um before we get on with the video please guys subscribe just hit that subscribe button down there hit that like button down there and drop a comment those are the three things that's the only three things i'm asking for oh wait one more thing hit the notification bell so you know exactly when we post up these new videos guys um and like that we can continue to give you guys daily free content and continue to grow this community and continue to just keep putting out this this uh this knowledge out there for everybody so guys i appreciate your support guys let's get into the video peace Alrighty guys, so let's jump right in and make sure you guys can see everything. Uh, I think everything's good. Alright, so let's hop right in. Let's start over. What's up guys? Let's hop right into this. Uh, looking at today's crypto market cap. If you guys can see, we're currently at 430 billion. 0.4 billion dollars. Guys. 430.4 billion that's crazy so we're up 6.3 percent over the last day so over the last 24 hours we're up just six percent that is insane guys there's so much money currently coming into bitcoin and crypto overall as you get as you guys can see here uh bitcoin's dominance is at 65.5 percent all right, so you can see there's a whole lot of money, a whole lot of green, a whole lot of money, a whole lot of green. <laughs> so we got a lot, a lot of green here, guys. If you guys look, the last 24 hours, Bitcoin is up 8.88%, guys. 8.88%. We're currently trading at $15,237. In the last seven days, we're up 13%, guys. So this is pretty, pretty crazy. We're, we're seeing volumes and moves just like 2017 and 18. Um, so guys, you have to be prepared for pullbacks because they will happen. You have to accept that pullbacks will happen pullbacks are by opportunities um but for now the foot is on the gas and it is full go on bitcoin we are riding to the moon currently um so these are the highest levels we have seen since 2017 and 18. um in 2019 we saw a high of about i think it was like 14,000 ish we've already crushed that by over a thousand dollars guys we're up at 15,237. So it is insane, insane, insane. As you guys can see here, Ethereum is currently trading at $412. Remember, we told you guys about that 380 entry. Hopefully, you guys took that. Um, XRP is trading at 24 cents, it's up 3%. Bitcoin Cash trading at 247, up 3.8%. Chainlink back to $11. 11 ish it, it has been kind of on the downtrend in the last seven days but to date up 4.7 percent binance coin is up at 27 it is up 3.2 percent um litecoin finally so showing some life up eight percent today up six percent over the last seven days polka dot up 2.6 percent cardano up one and a half percent all right guys so there's a lot of exciting stuff right now guys in the market i know you guys are hype and, you know we've been waiting for so long for these moves right so it's like it's about damn time oh man so yeah so let's let's take a look at this so we're currently in the daily chart right so let's look at the high here of last year this was the previous high since the 2017-18 so the high was thirteen thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars guys that was a high guys we crushed that <laughs> look at what, look at where we're at we're at 15,279 so we this is the highest that we've had 
This is the highest price we've had since this, guys. Since this right here. So we haven't seen these prices in a very long time. Um, now, I know everybody's asking, you know, what's the prediction? What are we thinking? Yada, yada. Um, let's let's take a look at this, right? Let's let's see what we have. Let's see what we got, and uh, and and then let's decide from there, right? So let's let's get this out the way. We don't need that no more. We broke out of that range long ago. Um, so as you guys can see here, we you see these green boxes? These are all boxes we told you guys to buy, and I hope you guys bought because man. Look at this first buy that we told you guys, 11,200. You guys remember that? 11,200. We told you that this was a bull flag and to buy in this box, right? Boom. We had lift off, took all the way off over here to 12,000, right? We told you guys to buy in this green box, 12,700, 12,800. Boom. We had lift off. Then we're like, all right, guys, buy in this box, 13,000. And lift off guys we're telling you guys these levels for a reason you know what I mean so now we're at 15,228 which is insane I think last time we did a, a video on Monday on Monday what today is Monday was the second so I'm trying to get the right day here so on Monday, this is where we were Monday. Monday we were trading between uh, 13.8 and 13.2. And um, what was the trades that we took then? I think we took trades at 13,200 as an entry. And that was from Monday. Um, and then the breakout trade was above 14,000. So if you guys took either this support trade or this breakout trade, you guys made some money. As you guys can see, this big green candle right here, right? Um, so that is insane, guys. I'm so excited about this. Now, we have to close above 15,000. And I would imagine that we would range maybe something like this, consolidate a bit. I can't imagine that we continue this you know just boom another candle way up here right um so the next after if we can stay above this fifteen thousand dollar range then the next place that we're going to be looking to you know as resistance is sixteen thousand only because it's a whole number but the real resistance the real test is going to come at seventeen thousand i think that's the next real test that we really have um because though that's a level from january of 2018 uh that was a, a level of rejection i believe so let's let's look back in history remember i always tell you guys in order to know where we're going you got to know where we've been you know what i mean so 17,000 was a number that we got rejected from back in the days so all right so looking back on this bull run right this 2017 we Let's see, where's 15,000? So 15,000 is right here, right? So when we broke 14,000 in 2017, when we broke 14,000 in one day, this is December 7th, we went from, we opened at, where's the opening? We opened at 13,682 and we hit a high of 17,750. And we ended up closing at 17,427. So this is a crazy candle. Like, just imagine this. This candle alone in one day, we did $3,745. This is in one day. That's last time we broke 14,000. So today, obviously, we didn't do that. But we did, uh, we are on top of 15,000 currently. As you can see, this little green, these little green dots. So um, if we look, we did pull back to 15,000. So you see this, once we broke out, we pulled back to 15. Then we took off again from 15 to 17. So 17, we passed it, but we got rejected again. And then we consolidated here for a couple days. It looks like for about three days we consolidated. And then on December 15th, 2017, uh, we took off, we opened at 16,651, and we ended up closing at 17,700. And then the very next day, 
uh, December 16th, 2017 is uh, when we hit a high of $19,840. That day we had opened at $17,700 and we hit a high of $19,840. We ended up closing at $19,547. So that was another crazy, crazy candle here, guys. So this is, you see this right here this is the levels that we're looking at so 17,000 to 8,000 is gonna be that level um, that we're watching as you see here we uh, got rejected right here at 17,000 again this is now in January so um, af after we hit this you know Christmas and all that we went down um, basically we were, we were going back down to like the 12,000 area then we bounced one more time and on this bounce we this is where we got rejected right at 17 as you guys can see and then that was basically the end of the bull run right so that is what happened I don't know if you guys know your history on Bitcoin and the bull run in 2017 and 18 but I just went over it with you guys day by day exactly what happened right so we had to take off we had the rejection at 17 then we had to bounce back. We had another uh, test of 17, 18, rejected. Boom, bounce back. We broke up over it. We hit, night. we almost hit 19. Well, we actually, on the December 17th, we hit, let me see, what was the high here? $20,093 um, on BitMEX. So this is BitMEX. <clears throat> so we hit 20K that day on December 17th. And then we dropped all the way back down, got uh came back up got rejected at 16 went back down came back up got rejected at 17 and that was the final rejection in january uh january 7th was the final rejection um and january 8th 2018 was the last time that we were above the current level that we're on right now so the price that we're currently trading at right now this moment which is 15,284. The last time we saw anything at this level was January 8th, 2018. So um, it's been basically two years since we've, you know, uh, came to the levels that we're currently trading at right now. So I am super excited and you guys should definitely be excited as well. Um, I think we're going to continue up. I don't really see any big resistance here. 16,000 is going to be the next resistance. As, it, as you saw back here, there was a rejection at 16,000 right here. You see this rejection right here at 16. There's a rejection here at 16. Um, so it's a whole number. So that always there's always a lot of buyers and sellers in this area. Um, but if we do break up over 16, then we're hitting then 17 is that next level. If we break 17, then this 20 is the next level. So those are the two next resistances really before we hit 20. But I think once we break over 17, 18 and 19, it doesn't even matter. We're just going to break right through it. And then 20 is going to be that level that's really going to, you know what I mean? So um, now when do I think this is going to happen? I'm not sure. I don't have an answer for that. Um, a possibility could be uh, either once uh, the president is finally elected, once these elections are over, maybe we'll see a move on that news um, that could spark something. Um, if, you know, maybe it'll be the news of the stimulus package, you know, because we're supposed to get a stimulus package in the U.S. again. There's supposed to be one in Europe. So maybe on the news of that, if that gets uh, released sometime soon, maybe that'll spark that uh, that surge and continuation up to 20. Um, you know, who knows? But I, you know, I don't have a time frame on it. But what I do have is that uh, we're going to we're going to test it. We are going to test it. I've been I've mentioned it several times to several people i said we're gonna test it i just don't know when um and here it is we're finally testing this hopefully you guys were with me in march when i told you guys when bitcoin's price was at four thousand dollars guys and i told you guys guys just buy for the long term this is the time to buy we will hit over ten thousand dollars this year 
guys we're at 15,000 so if you bought when I told you guys you had you've made what four times four or five times your money that is crazy guys um so yeah so all right so let's talk about trades that I'm that I'm looking at some setups that I'm looking at um, for those of you that want to uh, trade this with leverage right um, the guys in our group in our trade rooms so um, the trades that we're currently taking right now um, is 15,000 is that first trade so we've been using 15,000 as a, a breakout entry when we're breaking up above it um, and now we're using it we'll, we'll be using this as a support entry right so if we go back and test 15,000 um, you know usually what we like to do we like to we like to see a bounce before we enter so um, you'll see the, the perfect play was right here where we broke out you know we took that we took profits then when it came back down let it go under 15,000 then as it broke back over that's where you want to enter right there you want to enter that breakout boom and took off again <clears throat> So um, that's the entry that we're currently playing. Um, another entry would be, uh, I guess, around 14,800 would be that second support there. But there's not enough uh, activity in that range yet. So it's not very strong. Um, so I'd, I'd only be playing right now the 15,000 uh, until we see a little bit more you know consolidation or something where it forms a range where we can tell you you know okay here you can you guys can you know enter here as support or here as a breakout so uh, currently that's what we're looking at that 15,000 mark is what we're gonna be playing for trades um, and then the second mark is gonna be the previous high here so the high here is 15,336 so we're gonna set up breakout entries above 15,336 that's what we want to do for a breakout um, for a breakout entry and uh, and that's pretty much it that's the two setups that we're looking at right now there's not really much else um, if we see a pullback which we could uh, let's let's pull out our retracement tool and see where we might be uh, where we might be able to see it a pullback come back to right uh, so let's see we're gonna set this off over here on the 13,000 level up to here oops so let's lock it so it won't move all right, so we're looking at this, um, and you see if we, if you take it from the bottom here, and you move it all the way up, it kind of gives you an idea of pullback levels, of where you know retracement might be, where the bounce might be. So you'll see here that uh, that it got rejected right at this fourteen thousand mark. Um, it it like kind of got rejected here at fourteen two seventy six, then took off. Then it kind of slowed down here at this Fibonacci level, et cetera, et cetera. And when it retraced right here, it retraced perfectly to this Fibonacci level. Look at this at the 23.6%, which is 14,838. Um, so we're going to be looking to enter. If there's a pullback, this is the first level that we're looking at to enter. Um, then the second level will be the 38.2%, which is about 14,500. Their level is uh, 14 to 76 range, which is a 50% and so forth. So that's currently the levels that we're looking at and we're going to be watching um, a breakout. We see this breakout above this high. That's the breakout entry that we'll be taking. That's the first trade we got. Uh, the, the second trade is on a pullback back around the 15,000 range. And the third one is a pullback to this Fibonacci level. So that's basically the, the trades that we're looking at right now and we're looking at today um, that's pretty much it for now tomorrow we're gonna do a full market analysis we're gonna go over the other all the other coins and talk about different trade setups and stuff for the weekend but today we just wanted to update you guys on exactly what is going on here with the these huge 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 moves guys um, and uh, give you guys a, a, a few trade setups here in case something happens overnight um, so I hope you guys enjoy it guys. I hope you guys enjoy this light. Do you see how you can see me so clearly now? I've I purchased a new light to uh, light me up. <laughs> 
um, and in the beginning of the video as you guys saw uh, we also had the light that we're working on it's like this little ring light that's pretty cool lights me up gives me a lot more light you guys can actually see my face now so it's pretty pretty cool I had to even go get a haircut and all because you guys if I'm gonna be super lit up I gotta look at least presentable right <laughs> But all right, guys, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for being here and watching this video. Uh, question of the day is, what are the three trade setups that we're currently watching, right? Um, I have to actually uh, alert this trade that we're about to take because it's about to happen right now, guys. So I am out of here. Peace and love. Guys, so real quick, um, you saw those levels that we just spoke about. Look at this breakout, 15,500. We just hit, we went up to $15,540. You guys saw this in live time. Um, I cut it because I was trying to alert my group and uh, get in, jump into the trade myself. Um, but this was the trade right here. Uh, we mentioned it literally as right before it happened. If you guys were watching this video, hit rewind and look at where the price was when we were alerting it uh, we literally alerted this trade as right before it happened um, and you saw once it, it broke that range it took off look at that look at this Fibonacci level and look what happened boom it took right off and we, we hit a high of 15,540 so 15,500 was the next uh, what do you call it uh, resistance level here because it's such a whole number um, so that's kind of what happened there. Um, I I imagine we're probably gonna uh, pull back a bit, probably back right back to this level 15 uh, 340. Um, but we're gonna watch this and see what happens here. Um, if any of you guys took this trade, make sure you're taking profits now. Uh, you know our our team in our trade when we we entered at 15,000 was our original entries. So uh, we were able to grab basically uh, profits here as well. Um, but yeah, guys, sorry for that. I jumped off the video like that so quick, but, uh, that's why I came back to, to do a appropriate ending. Um, thank you guys, man. Appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like the video and leave a comment on the bottom with the answer to the question of the day. Let's get 20 likes guys. I've moved down our criteria for the for the giveaway now I'm only asking for 20 likes guys so let's hit those 20 likes and let's get this giveaway going it will um, look we're coming right back down just like I said guys it's like I'm a wizard right look at this pullback right back down to uh, to Fibonacci that's crazy right um, it's it's not it's not I'm not predicting these things guys it's just once you learn how the market plays then you can play the game you know what I mean um, but yeah guys um, so yeah guys appreciate you guys I will see you guys tomorrow